You know, I like the Italian ice. Is that De Niro or Dangerfield? Hey, I tell you, it's me, Rodney, and boy, have I got a problem, okay, I tell you. Whose voice is it anyway? My name is Joey Voices, and I'm a singer, impressionist, comedian. I do some actors and comedians, but it's mostly singers, because I'm a singer. Been so long, I hardly knew you. I change the lyrics around to be funny, I get my character. I put wigs on, a lot of fun, I love it. Joey has been performing for more than two decades around the country. He says he can imitate more than 100 voices. My favorite singing impression is our former lead singer for the Doobie Brothers, Michael McDonald. You keep forgetting, we're not in love anymore. I keep forgetting, they will never be the same again. The youngest of eight kids, he says it's tough to find your voice to be heard. So he turned to music and singers and found multiple voices. I think that's a gift from God that he gave me to kind of survive <laughs> in, a, in, a, in a big family like that. In a single show, he will switch up the vibrato countless times. So it depends on how long I'm on stage. Uh, if I'm on stage for an hour, I could do up as a 40. If I'm on stage for 90 minutes, I may do up as a 60. So does the voice just come to you like that or does it take time? Al Green was pretty easy. I'm so in love with you. Sometimes it takes years to get a voice down. And Louis Armstrong was the toughest one because when I would try to do it, my voice would scratch and my eyes would water until I finally found a way where my voice could do it easily. And you know, Louis Armstrong is like, I see trees so green, red roses do. Do you ever get up in the morning and forget which voice is yours and kind of you just start talking in someone else's voice? You think I'm funny? I'm funny, huh? What do you mean funny? The way I talk? Joey is one of only a few master singer impressionists in the world. He says sometimes finding your voice or several is all about just being you. Sometimes you gotta believe in another person's belief in you until you can believe in yourself. Often, it's those simple things in life we take for granted. Can I have a small caramel iced latte? Like our morning coffee run, something Lexi Bogan of Rhode Island never thought much about until earlier this year when she woke up from surgery without her voice. I started to realize quickly that I might sound like this for a while. Lexi says it all started last summer when headaches gave way to concerning symptoms. Tell me about when you first started feeling like something wasn't right with you. Well, I had migraines like no other for about three months. Her parents, Miles and Pamela, at first thought maybe their then 20-year-old daughter was stressed. We're like, drink more water, you got allergies. Until those symptoms became alarming. The left side of my face um, droops. Lexi was rushed to the hospital for an emergency MRI. Back here uh, in the area called the cerebellum, you see a, a large growth. Her symptoms caused by this golf ball sized vascular tumor near the back of her brain. Putting pressure on, uh, uh, on the, what's called the brainstem, and that's where the vocal cord uh, nerves come out of. Recovery was tough. Poor Lexi had every a side effect that we could think of. Trouble breathing, speaking, swallowing. And expression even harder. But timing was on her side. Just days before, doctors at Rhode Island's Lifespan Hospital were chosen as part of a select few partners with OpenAI to test a new voice generator technology. We turned to each other and said, let's get this into a patient who needs it as fast as possible. So it was within a matter of days. Lexi would be that patient, the first person ever to use the application in real world. So that anything that she types is now able to be propagated in the voice she had before. Hi guys, my name is Alexis Bogan. Using just 15 seconds of video from a school project, a how-to cooking video, Lexi has the option to either type or voice what she wants to say. The app not only sounds like her, it seems to convey cadence. 
There was so much traffic today. There was so much traffic today. I was shocked. I was like, wow, like that sounds exactly like how I sounded. Have all of your ingredients together. She says the app has restored not only her sound, but her spirit. It kind of came at a perfect time because I was starting to almost forget what I sounded like. As you heard, Lexi is the first patient in the world to have used this technology, but doctors are now enrolling additional patients. However, they don't want patients to become so dependent on the application that they don't continue voice therapy, which in many cases can help restore as much of the natural voice as possible. Still ahead, a vocal cord tune-up.